and welcome to the first in a series of podcasts all about sound. Yep, that's right, all different kinds of sound and how they're made. Today, we'll be looking at making different sounds and using different musical instruments. As scientists, it is important to be able to describe when things are similar and different to the stuff we already understand. So we will ask the question, what are the similarities and differences between sound and light? When energy is passed from one thing to another, we say it has been transferred. Sound waves and light waves can both transfer energy. Sound waves transfer energy to our ears and light waves transfer energy to our eyes. However, sound waves travel much slower than light waves. That's why we can see lightning before we hear the noise of the thunder. We can also communicate using both sound and light. If you want to communicate with someone next to you, you usually use sound. However, light is better to communicate with over long distances because it's better at traveling without spreading out too much and so becoming too faint. It's also quiet so others can't hear you. So how exactly are sounds made? Sounds are made by something moving forwards and backwards. We say it's vibrating. Here we can see that the sound produced by the speaker is by vibrations, and we can see those vibrations using the ping pong ball. When you speak, vocal cords in your throat vibrate, making sound waves that travel through the air. Just like with everything else, there are some keywords to understand about sounds. Some sounds are loud and some are soft. This is the intensity of the sound. So sounds with a high intensity are said to have a high volume. Sounds can also be high or low. This is the pitch of the sound. This tuning fork has a low pitch. This tuning fork has a high pitch. The tuning fork was invented in 1711 by John Shaw, and they help musicians to tune instruments to exactly the same note. The fork is tapped lightly on something, and the two prongs then vibrate to make a note. As the vibrating prong of a tuning fork moves in one direction, it pushes the air particles. When it moves back in the other direction, it no longer pushes them. This causes the production of sound waves, which move away from the tuning fork. Understanding how sound waves are made and travel has allowed musical instruments to be made. Different instruments combine different musical notes to make music. there caught me playing my rubber band guitar see and this works because these little rubber bands here all vibrate causing a sound and they cause different sounds with a different thickness and length bands I'll show you a guitar works by having strings that when plucked vibrate thinner strings will make a higher pitch note Shorter strings will also make a higher pitch note. Instruments like saxophones and oboes and other woodwind instruments work by having a small reed that when you blow on it vibrates, causing sound. The pitch and loudness of musical instruments can be changed using different tensions on the strings or on the skins like with drums. On a drum, if the skin is loose, when you hit it the vibrations will be greater and slower, producing a louder sound, or a sound of a higher intensity. But if the skin is tighter, when you hit it the vibrations will be smaller and much quicker, producing a sound with a higher pitch. <laughs>